I love this fireplace. It's original to the building, 1900s marble. Um, but I feel bad for her. She got a botched nose job, poor thing. It's still beautiful though. Hey, I'm Whitney. Welcome to my fifth floor walk up in Chelsea. So we are on the fifth floor of a five store brownstone in Chelsea, right across the street from a seminary, which is really lovely. And there are just some really lovely architectural details that were fun to play off of. So I feel like my, my design aesthetic is eclectic, but I definitely take hints from the bones of wherever we're living at the time. So this place has these amazing hardwood floors and this brick wall. Something like this was foundational to me thinking about how I was gonna put together the living room. This is a marble fireplace that's original to the building that was built in like 1900-ish, something like that. Um, it's obviously gorgeous. If I had to pay for it, I couldn't. <laughs> so it's nice to have it. I was having a lot of issues with what to do with this wall. Um, and my husband likes to make fun of me because it's actually a rug. <laughs> I bought it as a rug for this room over here, which we'll get to in a second. Um, and then decided to put it on the wall instead because it took up the space and I thought it looked good. This piece I love, it's from Pippin Vintage. If you don't know about it, it's in New York. I think it's the last remaining place in New York where you can like get a vintage piece that isn't totally overpriced. These trash cans draw a lot of attention, which was kind of the opposite effect that I wanted to have. Um, they're kind of an eyesore, because when you walk in the front door, you see them. So to make them less of an eyesore, I wrapped them in this um, rope. <laughs> another, another example of me just getting creative. So this painting I love, it's called um, Breakfast at Tiffany's. It's her coffee and um, pastry from the opening scene. Anyway, it's an artist that I found originally on Etsy. Her name is Joel Pinkman. I just think they're dreamy. So this is my office space. I work from home. I'm an interior stylist, um, so this is where the magic happens. I like to surround myself with some nice family mementos. This is from my grandfather. He was an engineer, um, but also, in my opinion, an artist. He worked with a lot of scrap metal, but made a lot of beautiful jewelry and sculptural pieces. And this gets a lot of attention. Rock, paper, scissors, it's how I make a lot of decisions. It's from Etsy. I buy a ton of stuff on Etsy because I'm obsessed with small shops and vintage stuff. This is our bedroom. Um, this is actually a clipping from the drapery that used to hang in our first apartment together when my husband and I first moved in together in the West Village. Um, we like to try to take something from each home to the next home with us. This is how we get people to come back to our apartment because this is kind of this the secret sauce. We love having people over up here. We'll host dinner parties, have people over in the summer. This is Isla, and we're gonna go take a look at her room real quick. <laughs> let's go, let's go. So before it was Isla's room, it was the office, and um, we had all of our books here, and we did not move them. And when we got pregnant with her, people were like, oh, what's the theme of the nursery gonna be? And I was like, books, because <laughs> I can't take these shelves down after I put them up. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> She's like, shucks, I 